Now, 1999, self-possessed. So, uh, tell me a little bit about the horse leading up to uh, leading up to the, the race. Of course, LX we have sport. an ad. Everything is a, a YouTube them. ad. So, so what? Talk about self-possessed uh, going into the race. Same thing with self-possessed. It was a disaster in the Deacon course. <laughs> he switched to the pace, top of the stretch. He, the disaster made a break, top of the stretch. He was gonna he was gonna win for fun but we uh now uh <laughs> ronnie had the had some work, work cut out for him okay because we now we we knew that the horse was fast enough or was it, he was the fastest horse around that's the fastest rider i drove in my life okay uh, very very fast horse and uh but he had some problem with and w mostly was shoeing problem okay so then Back then, we now we work on him with the uh, with the, the shoeing, and we uh, we know he had the uh, sore f feet, so we put flip flop. Okay. But flip flop slow down most of the sure. horses there, so that's what we were talking. Me and Ronnie, and he says, Mike, uh, you know, geez, uh, we're gonna slow him down a second, a second and a half. Yeah, I said that to Ronnie. He's fast. He's a second faster than everybody. I said that's not the. He's not a normal <laughs> horse. That horse. That I says that horse could go fast. I said the, he's two second faster than any anything around. And he was he was racing against Angus Hall. Right. Angus Hall was a nice, very very nice horse, but he was a follower, and he wasn't he wasn't fast like a, like self possessed. So we do we uh, we put the. We changed a few things on his bridle too, and but mainly was the showing. So, a week before the Hambo, the the week before the Hambo was on Saturday, and the, on Saturday we trained him in the morning. And uh, we trained him with another one of Gerfine. Okay. So, uh, but we, we didn't have anything that could stay with him. So, so, I, so he so just trotted with him, away. Uh, Chris Licata was working for Ronnie at the time. So I said, and he had another horse, just an, an ordinary horse. So I said, just have Chris take me to the half, like that, uh, the half in 58. And, uh, and I said, after that, at, at the half, I'll, uh, I'll take over and I finished a mile and you, you can even stop with him if you want. Okay. So that's what he did. He took me, I don't remember exactly where I fasted, but I would say I trained him in 55. But at, uh, from the half in 58 and I, and I just trained him in 55, just sitting on him. Nice confidence booster for the horse, yeah. right? And when I get up, uh, in the paddock there, I got off the horse. Uh, one of the owner was there, and uh, Ronnie Gerfine, and there was a couple people there. I wanted, I want to think, I want to say that there was George Siegel, that was one of the guy that was there. If I remember right, I think it was George Siegel. I just say, just sleep, I went like that, sleep, Sleep tight, we're good. And, and that was it. You you knew. Yeah. So uh, he went. He wins the limb, right? Yes. And everything's good from that. It's kind of like now. Difference is you have a whole week of uh, you feeling good that whole week in between the the a limb and the hembo. Oh yeah. No no. You were the, the he was good. I knew he was. He was yeah. I knew it was going to be real good. Now you draw what it looks like the four hole. Um, was it? what they do now where if you win in a limb you draw like from the five inside or did you pick your position i don't remember okay Honestly, well either remember. way you got the four hole so now it's a little bit different than amigo hall going behind the gate did you have a, a a game plan did you want to get towards the lead be close to the front and kind of oh, definitely i want to be close to the front okay. there and uh but he was so fast i knew i had uh, i had such a quick quarter and him self-possessed i it's back then a long time ago now and uh, that horse could trot a quarter back then better than 26. i knew that especially the third quarter that's where he was at, he was at his best like in the back stretch when you when you hit that turn that that, that uh, third quarter there yeah you, uh, you, you let him trot a little bit he was so fast that 
anybody would, would try to keep up to him. Maybe make a break. Or uh, just kill his horse. Sure. Just try to... So I, I knew I had that fast quarter in him. So you wanted to get near the front by the, the uh, final turn. I didn't and want then to use my it. horse hard to get to the front. Right. Because I knew he's got such a quick speed. So I let everybody settle down. Okay. And then I knew that the... Then you made your move. Yeah. So now... Everybody busts out of there. And yeah, you're just right in the middle. Yeah, because I knew that the the kind of speed... So it's McNichol and Pearsall Hanover. As Campbell uses Angus Hall's tactical speed now. And self-possessed is right there, keeping him three wide. They battle early. Now, did you... what? Again, on TV, it looks like, you, you know, you guys are, are rolling. You're keeping Campbell three wide. But probably you're more likely saying, no, we were just kind of going. Campbell was we're, going in the we're, front. We were just kind of going because, don't forget, there's Mickey's, somebody inside of me. Mickey's grabbing, right? Yeah. and there's, uh, I, I'm just not to, I just, I don't care if, he, if, if John circled me or anything like that. It didn't bother me. I just didn't want to be in a position where I'm stuck. So it, it's almost by... The camera looks a little tricky because you're going your speed and Mickey is grabbing really. So it looks like you're trying to keep Campbell out there. Yeah, but but I, you I guys was, were just going. You didn't worry speed. me one bit because I knew I, I was going to get to the front. Sure. So, the so you knew drive, at some point you're going to get to the front. You see, you you see, as soon as I'm in front, uh, I, I'm not worrying the about the job. I just let him settle down and then I said I'm going to come out of whatever I want. Rafael Ambrosio near the back of the pack. That one followed by Comet's tail, and then in moving up is Devante. Yeah, you guys look like you're just strolling right here. Yeah, now look at John. He wants to let me go. Sure. Because he knows he doesn't, he doesn't want to fight with me. Michael Chance with self-possessed will take the lead away from Angus Hall. But right there is C.R. Renegade. He'll apply immediate pressure as they race past the half. And enjoy look. Were you worried about the outside pressure right here? No. You, no, I had you, a ton of horse. You did actually look over, though. That's the first time I've seen you look over <laughs> in the Hamiltonian. Yeah, so maybe the, you were a little nervous. I, 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 no, I looked over to, to see who it was. Okay. Yeah. So just to make sure, and then once you saw, yeah. you're like, ah, I'm good. We're, 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 we're good. He's getting a great trip on the outside. Pearsall Hanover shuffled back a bit. Now Actually fifth. sticks ahead in they front there. The yeah, but I was three, just sitting on my horse. Really, really tight. I just used my gaining pole a little bit. Okay, and, and now, now, now in the turn, yeah, I don't even let him trot. And Angus Hall enjoying a beautiful trip with John Campbell. He has trot on the inside, and now he gets the second spot. Three wide comes in. If I didn't have John Campbell in my back, with Angus Hall, he would have trot in 150 in the piece. Because I would let him trot earlier sure but i didn't, can't take a chance with john campbell in your back but you see where we are now and look what I, what's going to happen in last oh yeah those drifting out angus hall trying to take advantage so possessed mike lachance keeping look at him, him to go. his task he's all alone now look at him he opens the lamp oh. just opens up his stride opens up gets stronger but yeah and i'm sitting on him and, and that's how fast that horse was that ended up being the fastest Hamble, that was the fastest yeah. up until that yeah, point. Yeah, it, it was a world record. World record. Yeah. But the, that day, the, I, I swear, he could have tried in 150 and 2, 3, 4. That's the, what he could... If he had a little bit more competition, maybe? No, no. not con- No competition. If I didn't have Angus Hall and John Campbell. Oh, so if you, you just... Don't get smart with a, with a, a guy like John Campbell. Okay. In your back. So, so, okay. So, you had... Because you had competition, you didn't want to open him up. Because I... Because I didn't want to get uh, cute, and then what happened if I tried to do that and open up, and then, then he beat me at the wire by a nose? I would feel like I want to <laughs> feel like like the hole. worst driver ever, right? 